Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly translate any text from one language to another in Excel. And this can be done using a new translate function. Now, Excel is usually meant for data analysis and working with numbers. So it's not really a very useful feature, but it's still a good to know thing if you want to quickly translate one language to another when you're working with reports or let's say you are generating invoices and you want to generate invoice in multiple languages languages, then this can be useful. Now translate is a new function and you will have this function if you're using Microsoft with Excel 365 or Excel on the web. But if you're using older versions, then you will not have access to this function. So here I have some of this text that I want to quickly translate into any language. So I can use the translate function and this is the new trans translate function that takes three arguments. The first one needs to be the text that you want to translate, which in this case would be this cell reference. So I'm using a cell reference, but if you want, you can also put the text in double quotes then the source language which is the this text that i want to translate now if you do not provide this argument because this is optional excel would still recognize what the language is but it is still a good idea to specify the language so that it is always accurate in this case you can see it is showing me all these different languages and there are so many different languages to choose from now this is this may not have all the languages as of now but this is a function that will keep on updating so if in the back end more languages are added or removed then that would impact the languages here so the language code needs to be in double quotes and you will see for each language there's a code which is in double quotes a two letter code so for english the code is en in double quotes and then I want to let's say convert this into Spanish so I would have the code which is es and now when I hit enter it converts this text into Spanish and I can drag it down and copy it for all these cells so you can see that instantly it converts the text into another language now I do not know Spanish I only know a little bit of Spanish so I'm not sure if this is right or not but I can convert it in Hindi and I can tell you that it is right because I know Hindi so here is what is the conversion in Hindi, the translation in Hindi. And I can tell you that this is pretty much on point. So this is as good as the translation you can get online. Now, do not completely rely on the translation. Whenever it does this, make sure that you go through it and make sure that everything is right. Now, there are a couple of limitations when you're working with this function. The most important one to know is that you need to be connected to the internet when you're using this function. And a couple more limitations are mentioned on the official documentation of this function on Microsoft page. So it says that if the text is too long, then you may get an error. Now it does not specify what is the character length or the text length that should be acceptable. But I was trying and doing a little bit of trial and error and I realized that that value is 3000 characters. So this is some text I generated using AI and I translated it into Spanish. And as long as it is 3000 characters long, so I have this value here, as long as it is 3000 characters long, it is going to work. But if it is more than 3000, then it is not going to work. So for example, if I increase a few more characters here, you'll see that it gives me a value error. So 3000 characters, if your text is less than 3000 characters, then this should work fine. The other thing it says is that if there is an error in the value, which means that if you're using a non-text value, because this is meant for text conversion, text translation. So if you're using a number or a non-text value, then it is going to give you an error. If you use an invalid language code, then it is going to give you an error. And if there is a request throttle, now again, there is no value mentioned here. What is the daily quota? But I'm assuming there is going to be a daily quota. So you cannot just use any number of translations that you want and do it in Excel. There is going to be some limitation on it. Now, while you can do the translation in Excel, it is not really a translation tool. So if you have to translate long text documents, then it is better that you do it in specific translation tools that are available online. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.